Nine-year-old girl riding her scooter in Brooklyn last night was caught up in a three-car accident and pinned underneath one of the cars. Luckily, some people who were nearby found the strength to lift the car off her. So Wyan Holmes was scooting home on the sidewalk and a livery cab hit a sedan and a Ford Explorer SUV at Livonia and Rockaway Avenues in Brownsville. One of the cars jumped the curb and ran her over. Seven men at a nearby check cashing business ran to the scene and lifted the car up as the girl's mom pulled her out. Amazingly, she was not seriously hurt. Police have arrested the driver of the livery cab. 35 degrees, clear skies. We're headed up to a uh, sunny 46 with increasing clouds later in the day. This portion of the news with limited commercial interruption is sponsored by your Tri-State BMW centers. Visit them online at tristatebmw.com. This news time, 6 .09. President Obama and House Speaker John Boehner are leaving room for further talks on how to avert the year end fiscal cliff. But right now, things are at a partisan standoff. Correspondent Vic Ratner reports the House will vote today on Boehner's Plan B to raise taxes on those earning more than a million dollars a year, a proposal the White House says the president would veto. Speaker John Boehner walked away from reporters' questions and seemed to be walking away as well from the negotiations that he'd been having with the president. Democrats claim Republicans are so divided that Boehner may not have enough Republican votes to pass his plan B through the House. White House wants to raise taxes on household incomes above $400,000 a year, up from the president's opening proposal of $250,000. It's news time, 610. It's the end of an error, or some might say an error. On basic cable tonight, MTV will air the final episode of Jersey Shore, as correspondent Jason Nathanson reports. It's hard to believe that the classy show started just three years ago. We've been given six seasons of smushing, drinking, tanning, and meatballs. Meatball is like a good thing. Like, you know, I feel like we're short, we have curves, and, you know, we rock it. Dina Cortez has been on the show since season three, and she's grown in that time. There's some things I did the first season that I would never do now. You know, like, forgetting to wear, like, underwear to the club was stupid. I was so drunk that I forgot, like, now I would never do that. Tonight's finale will be followed by a cast reunion. And fans need not despair. They can still get their fix with Snooki and Jay Wow in a spinoff. Wednesday's News Time, 6 11. Let's get a check of traffic and transit on the ones. Pitoriello here to do that for us. And we've got some good news at Shirley, Long Island. This report brought to you by Burlington Coast Factory. Long Island Expressway, all lanes now open in both directions between exit 68 and 69 following yesterday's fiery multi vehicle pileup. Again, LIE open on both sides now through Shirley. And in New Jersey, we have an accident on Route 78 eastbound. It's in the left express lane at exit 57 in Newark. Traffic coming up from Brooklyn heavy on the BQE, Atlantic Avenue to the Brooklyn Bridge. And in Queens on the LIE, we have a debris spill on the westbound lower level. White Lane is out of commission at the moment at Maurice Avenue. Van Wick's a little heavy northbound Atlantic Avenue to Queens Boulevard. Staten Island Expressway already a five-minute delay eastbound between 440 and Slauson Avenue. Hudson and East River crossings are moving well, and alternate side parking is in effect today. It's cold outside. I've been to Burlington today to find great warm winter coats for the whole family. At incredibly low prices, up to 70% off department stores every day.